Korea is a highly competitive workplace. It's super competitive for students. You have to have perfect grades, the perfect looks. Everyone there talks about beauty constantly and they tell you straight to your face that you're ugly or that you should get plastic surgery. That's why people feel like it's a good career move to get plastic surgery. What we're doing today is sort of recreating this practice that's very common in Korea but in a way that's non-permanent. Really a sort of sliding doors potential second reality if I had chosen to alter the way I look. So I am a quarter Korean. I lived in the south of South Korea in a city called Daegu for a year. And I saw a lot of shit when I was there. All of the subways are like plastered with banner ads that say you should get plastic surgery. I actually had an article that I wrote about on Buzzfeed that also went viral on uh, the Daily Mail where the headline was literally too fat, too tall, and too dark to be beautiful in South Korea. And that's honestly how I felt. When I was a kid, I felt like my eyes were small because I didn't have double eyelids. I had a couple of relatives like suggest that like I get a double eyelid surgery. In some ways I think about it and I'm like that's that's messed up. In other ways it, it was like an act of concern and love. To grow up in a society and a culture that's very frank about the way you look changes the way you perceive your personal relationship with beauty. First time I went to Korea, all of my mom's friends there looked at me right when I got off and they said, well, you know, your son could get the eye surgery and a nose job and get his face smaller. And you know, I had a lot of insecurities about that. I thought, oh, maybe it's because I am ugly. Maybe it's because they want me to look a certain way. Fast forward to now when my mom, to the same friends, shows videos of me and they all say, oh, your son is so handsome. Oh, there's nothing wrong with his face. Do you know why the fuck they changed their minds? Because I'm successful now. So if you think about it, a lot of Koreans don't necessarily say, you will look better because you're white looking. They're thinking, you can survive and succeed more if you change certain things because that is what's happening in society. I'm really terrified of what this surgeon is gonna say to me because I feel like he's going to be like my worst critic ever. I've worked so hard to feel okay with my body and to feel like a Dove commercial inside and I know this man is gonna tell me that I'm so ugly and I'm terrified. Uh, it was very nice to meet you, doctor. Nice to meet you. I would love to see what I think is sort of the standard for like a hot young Korean guy. I'd love to know what I could do to make my face as close to the mainstream beauty ideal currently in Korea. Okay, why don't you go ahead and put your hair behind your ears a little bit. Oh, here we go. Here we go, y'all. It'll be fine, there'll be no problem. <laughs> Nothing to be nervous about. Let's have you turn to me a little bit. This is my potato face, y'all. There is sort of a stereotypical Korean beauty standard that people try to adhere to. There's a big focus on beauty around the eyes. They're looking for those that are a little bit sharp and pointed at the end. And finally, they're looking for a facial shape which is more V-line and kind of has a slimmer look. So those, I'd say, would be the most common facial aesthetic procedures. This is very intimate. I just made it weird, sorry. Yeah, let's not make this weirder than it is. <laughs> okay, overall, very good looking face. Pretty girl, I'd say your, your face looks uh, very nice. Great skin, good looking guy, you have good facial features. Starting sort of from the top down, mm -hmm. I think your brows look very good. Mm. Um, I think for your eyes, very common to get the typical Asian double eyelid surgery. Yeah. I think your distance between your brow and your eyelash looks pretty normal and healthy, so I think a standard double eyelid would look nice. Eyelids, I think double eyelid would be reasonable. Maybe just make the eyes look a little bit bigger. And your distance between your eyebrows and your lash line here, a little bit on the shorter side. Going from there, I would say your nose from the front view looks a little bit wide to me, and so I think narrowing could also give you a nice rest that it. For the rhinoplasty, there'd be two key things I would do. One would be to shave down that hump at the top, and the second would be to work on that tip a little bit. For the cheeks, either some fat grafting or even a cheek implant if you want to have a little bit more profile. I would recommend uh, considering some fat grafting, which is to move a little bit of fat from other parts of your body and to put it into your cheeks to make the cheeks a little bit softer looking. For the lower part of your face, I think down here, you do have a little bit of fatty tissue in this area. Common for a lot of people also. Um, and so I think that one thing you could consider would be to take out a little bit of buckle fat, which is to make a small incision on the inside of the cheek. And finally for your jaw here, overall face shape is a little bit more on the round side. Very typically, a lot of women in Korea are looking for something that's a little bit more V-line. So a combination of Botox and this to kind of shrink that muscle, mm -hmm. as well as uh, potentially shaving down this jaw a little bit, mm -hmm. I think would kind of give you a little bit more of a V-shape. That wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. It seems like a lot of the changes would be subtle. That was a long list of procedures to get me to uh, point B. I'm glad to know that my face is mostly great. Like I thought it would be like, yeah, let's just do everything. But it is kind of scary for me to think that I might see like a better version of myself. So we'll see. Gotta get rid of this neck fat, y'all.
Holy shit, I'm scared. I'm mainly worried that I'm gonna like it. Am I gonna look at it while it changes? Yeah. Oh shit, okay, wait, wait, wait don't do it. I'm really nervous now. One, two, three. <laughs> There's just something about it that's so derpy. Like, It definitely doesn't look like me, it looks like an evil do doppelganger. So I see how they gave me double eyelids, but I'm surprised at how much I don't like them. I like the defined jawline. I could probably achieve that by like losing a couple pounds. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the eyes. Maybe it's just the Photoshop, but I just look dead. I look dead inside. And... Huh. It's kind of weird because it looks vaguely like me, but like not really. I, it's not as drastic as I thought it was gonna be, which is a little bit scary. Like the subtlety of it is like, no one would really know that I had plastic surgery. To be honest, I thought it'd be hotter. And now that I'm not that hot, it's like, I don't really want to risk going under the knife to be 5% more hot. 5% <laughs> more hot's not worth it. Like 25%? Fuck yeah, but like, you know what would improve this is just like if I had abs, you know? That would be better. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. My jaw is much smaller. The nose is thinner. He's got a cute little face. It looks good. It doesn't look bad. He's the way nicer version of me, I think, in terms of like the face. My biggest takeaway is that I'm comfortable with looking at this now without feeling shitty about myself. But I also am not looking at this and thinking that I'm like more beautiful when, than this picture. It's nice to see that this is a somewhat natural option that I don't think people would look at and think I looked like a freak or weird. So hopefully like if someone feels like this will make them more confident and they get it, if they're still recognizable as a person, I don't see the problem with it. Maybe the one thing that's a little problematic is we have to think as Koreans if we are just ever so slightly changing the way we think we should look. I don't think that we should necessarily think this looks better than this, right? And I think that's what a lot of people are currently suffering from, is this idea that I have to look more this way to be accepted. I don't think I'd want to adhere to a trend and then not be able to go back on it. Like, you can even remove a tattoo. You can't remove a nose job. When I was in Korea, I thought at some point that if I got more plastic surgery, I could maybe look more Korean and fit in. But now that I'm seeing what the plastic surgery would be, I'm realizing that the parts of me that don't fit in are the parts that make me unique. I think what it really comes down to is we just need more of like this, right? We just need more of our own natural faces in media and not to like shit on or diss on people who get plastic surgery. As Asians, we just need to diversify what we're seeing. And it's not saying that this is bad, it's just saying that only seeing this is bad. And everybody deserves to feel okay about who they are. I guess I just like my face better than I thought. I don't need that to feel good about myself or to make other people feel good about how they look. So I'm gonna keep my little eyes and my big nose and my big face. It's what my mama gave me and she's hot. <laughs> oh, why are you sad? Why are you cry? Why are you cry, sexy Ashley? Don't cry. Thank you.